morning everyone i literally just got up and <laughs> i'm pretty tired it's about 6 15 in the morning i had a rough night so i couldn't really sleep that good um so i decided to get up a little earlier than i normally do i just got out of the bathroom and guys there was a pop every day right there only rodent owners will understand that but i'm so excited i like to make diy crafts so now I'm just going to say good morning to the pets and give them all a treat. Hopefully, um, my hamster is up. Um, yeah, hopefully Thomas is up. Uh, the rats, they'll just wake up when they see me, but Thomas likes to hide because I just got him, so, yeah. You know I'm the mess on the table and just, like, DIYing. Doesn't look like Thomas is out today. I must have gone back to the end of here. He's not in there. So here's Leo and Scott. They're on the top level. I'm gonna say good morning to them. Actually, I'm gonna grab them a treat and I'll be back. This is my treat area, so I'll just take them in this jar. They're excited, they know what's gonna happen. These treats are like little crispy things that are filled with like apple jam type stuff so here good morning hey oh that was my finger there you go good morning they don't bite hard when they think it's my finger but i don't really pay attention he doesn't want to say good morning he wants to eat his food so i'll come back for him and scott is a lot um less friendly not less friendly but just more timid he's hiding back there eating his little treat he probably doesn't want pets yet now down here we've got reggie and scott but they're they're just gonna come with the door when i open it guys really really get, get off of here get off i'm gonna open this door because <laughs> So yeah, the Cornelius and Reggie. Uh, Cornelius is on the hut there, or on the platform, and Reggie's at the bottom. So they're gonna be very excited about their good morning treats. So here's, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So I actually used my old crochet project that I never was gonna finish as, um, rat supplies and this is like an old blanket and that up there is like um a, a, a pillow i was thinking about like a circle pillow but they actually chew at the bottom so now it's just like a big hole in the bottom and they'll just like sink down as they go in it looks like these rats are ready for some good morning cuddles so i don't really cuddle them i try to pet scott but he doesn't really like it he just doesn't really want to be pet, which is okay. It makes me a little sad. But Leo, on the other hand, loves his good morning. Oh, what's on you? Do they stain on you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, he's chattering his teeth. He's happy to see me. Are you going to come with me? Oh, good morning. Do you hear him chattering his teeth? That means that he's excited. I think he's got some poop on him. <laughs> the joys of being a rat mom. Good morning. Yeah. I'll probably put him on my shoulder um, while I make breakfast later. A bit. He likes to ride on my shoulder. Hey, Scott. You're okay. Yeah, he wants to come out. I know. Let's 
it's time to say good morning to these guys, and they're on this side now, because they know that's the side I'm going to open. They are the kind of rats that, like, if you touch the cage, they think it's food, and they will bite your finger off. So, yeah. So, you know, they are. Good morning. This guy's a little skinnish, too. This guy, not as much. Good morning. They don't, like, really love pets, but they kind of tolerate it. Um, Reggie was enjoying them yesterday, but he kind of has to be in the mood. guys water is actually pretty full both of them so i'm not gonna add more water because if i do they just knock it over um they just recently had food like i fed them last night and they still have food in there so they don't really need any more food um and they're all overweight i might give them some food mix but they've got their oxbow um rat pellets but um Thomas, I'm going to refill his water just because he, ha he only has a water dish. These guys have a water bottle too, but I'm going to refill Thomas's water with fresh water. Thomas's water is also in the sand area just because that's like the only space I could put it. And so I it sometimes get sand in there and then I just, I feel bad. I don't want to um, make him that drinking sand water also i got this little end to a um spider plant and i got a few more that i'm gonna grow and give to um the hamster thomas this is the christmas area that i'm making in that box it's all my diy stuff but yeah this is christmas diy because i'm gonna do a christmas cage for thomas it so yeah, this is Thomas's cage. He's probably burrowed down in the bedding. But yeah, his little water dish is there uh, in sand pit. I am so excited. I actually have news for you guys. And that is that I'm getting a huge tank today um, for Thomas. So I'm gonna say, because this cage here feels way too small is the bare minimum it's too small so i want to get a bigger one and yeah i'll switch his water for those who don't know i actually got thomas the hamster like three days ago so i haven't handled him at all He's very skittish. I've seen him a few times. Usually he just runs back and um, hides when I come near. So hopefully, just like the sound of my voice, he gets used to it. I'm sure it's just like he's nervous. Um, he was with other hamsters at the pet store and they weren't really handled. So it's just a big adjustment for him. So I'm not too worried about the fact that he's hiding. Um, but yeah, I have seen him a few times and I've tried to give him a treat, but he just went and hid for like a good couple hours. So I was like, oops, <laughs> but yeah. Now it's time for my breakfast. like waffle mix from yesterday that we didn't end up using all of and then we have this tiny little waffle maker that we got so we're gonna make some waffles and i'm gonna go wake up gavin i usually bring right um leo to go wake up gavin but i'm not gonna film that because he's not gonna want me to I'm scared to close it. It was a lot.
Oopsies. All right, that looks pretty good. Ignore the sound, I'm just boiling more water, but um, I stayed at a friend's house once and they put brown sugar on their uh, waffles and now I do that every time and I think it's so good. I definitely recommend you try it. Just kind of put some brown sugar and then maple syrup. Put it on like this and then you just kind of eat it like a taco. I'm just going to add some of this little seed mix into the rat enclosure just for a little treat for them. We are now going shopping. So we are going to go to this like rainbow pride thrift store to get some Christmas presents for my sisters. And then I'm also going to Walmart to get a yarn needle for my crochet project. Okay, I just got back and now it's time for a haul. So from Walmart, I got these lollipop sticks. Um, yeah, to make DIY crafts. I also got this blanket. It was like, these were $2 each. This blanket um, was about $6. And yeah, it's like a Christmassy little plaid blanket that I'm gonna use for the rats. I might cut these little ends off as like nesting material. Then from the, I did end up stopping at the pet store. I got cocoa fiber and um, some barley seeds, which is technically like cat grass. So I'm gonna grow that for, um, these are both, for Thomas. And then lastly from Walmart, I also got a paper shredder so I can make um, like shredded tissue and shredded newspaper for like paper mache stuff for the hamsters and the other animals. Um, I also did get my yarn needle. <laughs> I didn't forget that, <laughs> um, but yeah. Use this tiny little container to grow the barley and I have organic dirt that I just got from the dollar store. So I'm going to make that and plant the seeds. Okay, there's my plant area now. It's just on top of Thomas's cage. <laughs> While I do this, I was literally so scared my phone was going to fall in because I was recording on my phone and I was just holding it by like putting something heavy on it and it was scary. Okay, so this is what it looks like now, and I'm just gonna kind of let it sit there. Okay guys, so it's been a couple hours. I crocheted for a bit. I'm crocheting a small hammock for the rats. I cleaned up, and I made some crafts. This is gonna be a little Christmas tree hut. I just have to cut the little entrance on that side. And I made this little ladder that turned out kind of ugly. Um, yeah. And then I was crocheting this. It's gonna be like a hammock, a square hammock, but I'm a slow crocheter, so it's 
it took me a while. The boys are just chilling. I tried to take Leo out, but he didn't want to come out. He just licked my hand. You gonna come out? Come. Don't lick my hand. I was just painting. You old goof. Goofball. By the way, this is what I was talking about earlier, how they made the hole in the bottom so that they just get sucked down. Okay, now it's time for the feeding. So these two bowls are the rats. I'm gonna wash them. And this is Thomas's bowl. He, you can look and see he didn't want the mealworms, which is surprising. And he left some of the cheese, but I'm actually gonna keep these and I'm gonna try to make a gingerbread, oh, sorry, like a gingerbread man out of them. But since they're probably going stale, I'm gonna just take them out. And I'm gonna dump this and give him fresh food and I'm gonna wash their bowls. For the rats, I'm giving them a scoop of this seed mix. The seed mix is just a generic mix that's um, advertised for small animals. I try to get the big pieces because I know they like that better than the small pieces. I don't usually give them that much of this. I'm gonna take And then this is the um, oxbow pellets. Quite a bit. There's two rats in each cage. There, that's for the rats. And then I also got them some water to fill up their water dishes with. So top layer rats do not really get bored that easily. And so I don't typically scatter feed them. As you can see, they have a toy there and they've just completely ignored what's in it. But I am gonna just kinda like shake some of this around so that it's not all just in the wall and then I'll put the wall there. Enjoy. Oh, and then I have the water, so I'll just fill up their water. I'm not going to take it out and clean it because I did that yesterday and it just gets dirty no matter what I do. But these rats like to swim in the water so we're, we're going to be careful about that. These rats, on the other hand, do not like to just have their food in a bowl because they like to forage it because they get bored quite easily. So I'm gonna just yeah, pop that. I'm gonna try and you know, so I've got this cat toy that oh sorry this cat toy that you can put little treats in. So I'll put some in there and then I have this toy that I put treats in and I'll just sprinkle some uh, throughout the cage. Oh, and I also have these two that I'll put some treats in. All right, so I gave the rest of them in the bowl. I'm gonna fill by your water. This one's water is so weird, like how it attaches to the cage, so I really don't want it to overflow. Okay, now for um, Thomas. Thomas uh, gets a uh, full cheeks rat and mouse diet. The reason he doesn't get in Missouri is because we just don't have access to it where I live and it's really expensive to order on Amazon. Then he also gets um, Higgins, sorry, he also gets Higgins Sunburst food um, that's uh, the gourmet type. It's actually probably lots for him. All right, I put the food in there. The sun's getting kind of bright, so I'm going to um, close the blind for Thomas. Once Thomas's cage is the big cage that I'm getting today and moved, he won't have to, we won't have to worry about that. So yeah. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna try and turn his rat pellets, uh, Thomas's, into a gingerbread cookie. So let's see how that goes. Basically, you can hear the water boiling, but I'm just gonna use these rat pellets for hamsters and add water to them. Okay, this is like a couple minutes later and it looks and smells really gross. All right, here's an update. And I suppose it's good to know that if you have a hamster that can't chew, you can still eat this. So I'm gonna kind of like drain out the liquid of this and add a little bit of peanut butter and some flour. So I'm not following a recipe at all. So I'm just gonna drain this, add some flour and the peanut butter. Okay guys, I'm actually quite proud of this little dough I've created. And then I have a little pan there and I'm gonna cook them. Now I unfortunately do not have a gingerbread cutter, cookie cutter, but I do have this little flour one. So we're gonna try it. I'm actually so proud of the snowflake ones. The other ones I just gave up and did little like cookie shapes, but they're not all even. So I don't know how they're gonna cook, but I'm proud of these snowflakes. And you're probably like, Marissa, those are ugly. And I'm gonna be like, um, I tried. Okay guys, this is how they turned out. They're a little squishy, but mostly crunchy. <laughs> I'll give them to Thomas tomorrow. Oh, or later tonight if he wakes up while I'm up. This video has been insanely long and it's only like less than five o'clock. So I'm gonna end this video here because uh, the people are coming with the new tank soon and I want that to be a separate video of me setting up the tank and that will be tomorrow's video. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to here, like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Um, please comment anything. I love responding to comments and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!